Good morning, it's Meg at Swiss Watch Expo. I have two really beautiful ladies Cartier Tank American watches to show you today. Stick around. Hi, it's Meg from Swiss Watch Expo. I know I usually show you his and hers watches, but today I'm just showing you two really beautiful ladies watches from Cartier. They're Tank Americans, they're really special. I think they're just both so lovely. I'm gonna show them to you, but let me give you a little bit of history on the Cartiers, especially the Tank collections. Louis Cartier originally was making Tank watches in 1917. You have to realize at the time, the men were wearing very large, bulky pocket watches. And so when Louis Cartier wanted to really revolutionize the watch industry by creating wristwatches, the idea was instead of this bulky pocket watch, you would have something very inconspicuous that you would wear on your arm that wasn't a hassle. The idea of wearing something on your arm was fairly new. So he really wanted to make very fine and inconspicuous timepieces, which is why a lot of the Cartier men's watches are still fairly small in design. They loved to speak to and stick to the heritage of their watches. So uh, you guys are always asking us, when, what's a men's, what's a ladies? And for Cartier, it almost doesn't matter what they're called. It really matters about the style and the look that you're interested in. Some of the men's watches are smaller than ladies. It's kind of confusing, but that's what we're here for. But this isn't confusing at all. These are two beautiful ladies Cartier Tank Americans. Now, even though the tanks have been around since 1917, the Cartier Tank American was not created until 1986. So it's a relatively new style, very stunning. And what I love about it is at first glance, it appears that it's curved on the wrist, perhaps like a gondolo from Patek might be. But in fact, when you take a closer peek at them, it's actually a flat back on the case, but the dial and the top of the case is curved. So it wears like it's curved, even though it's flat. I picked up this one first. This is so pretty. This is yellow gold, but the stunning chocolate brown guilloche dial. So we were talking about what it is and what that pattern is. It actually looks like a chocolate wafer cookie. Favorite cookie, incredible dial. It's just so beautiful. Diamond bezel, very iconic. And interesting though, the hands on here that are the Cartier swords, but the the numbers on the dial are Arabic numbers instead of the very well-known Cartier Roman numerals. So just the combination, everything about it, it's stunning. It's just such a pretty watch. You can see from the size, it's not very big at all, just very, very elegant. This one in particular to really show off its brown dial is also on a brown satin strap. To pull it, buckle on it, easy to wear, very comfortable, lovely timepiece. It's just girly, it's pretty, it's something that you should enjoy wearing. I just thought I wanted to show it to you. So the other watch, I'm gonna call it its sister watch, is the same thing in rose gold, also Tank American, a little more iconic Cartier, Roman numerals on the dial, sword hands again, very classic, classic, but still flat back, curved top on it, which makes it very unusual with that curved crystal on them. The other thing that I didn't point out on the chocolate brown one with the black one, this has the black satin strap. So again, lovely, lovely strap, deployant buckle. What I love about this is they're known for their sapphires in the crown. This is actually a diamond on the crown, but it's set upside down, cue it out on both of these. So a little bit of uh, fun, a little bit of cleverness on that. I just think it's lovely. It gives you the, um, a different alternative to their sapphire crowns. Beautiful ladies time pieces. They're here, they need to find a home. You give us a call, check us out on SwissWatchExpo.com. We'll help find the perfect Cartier tank watch for you.